practice for restorative yoga, pranayama, or just a simple way to quiet your mind uh, f- throughout the day using what's commonly called a puna head wrap. Uh, so this is something I've learned from the Iyengar lineage, and I find it one of my most useful practices, actually, to quiet the mind with basically the least effort on my part. Uh, these head wraps, you, you, you don't have to use a classic uh, Hola Yangar one, but if you Google Puna head wrap, these are ideal because they're quite soft and they're not too elastic, but you can use a, like an elastic bandage that you might use to you know wrap up your joints if you have an injury or something like that. Uh, but but these, these are really wonderful, and if you have maybe an Iyengar studio or something near you, you you probably be able to find them there as well. Um, so uh, this is a really simple practice, once again, um, which we use, especially in restorative postures or pranayama, where we really need to go deep inside. However, you can use it if you have uh, a very busy mind, or perhaps you're studying a lot, or you have a hard time sleeping, um, any number of things where the nervous system might be a little more active than usual or you just naturally run a little more active. So it's good for those types of issues. If you find yourself on the more lethargic end, uh, then this might not be quite the practice for you as it can dull the mind quite a bit. And, uh, you know, if you have a little more kappa uh, issues that you're dealing with, this this might not uh, work so well. So, you know, you'll have to play with it in your own practice to see uh, where it's useful and where it's not. However, I use it quite often. Um, even even during sleep, I'll use it in a, in a modified form, which really helps bring me deeper into sleep and, and work, uh, you know, work in that level uh, really effectively. So it's, it's that's some, another use you can use it for. Uh, however, just, you know, be mindful of your constitution and uh, watch how it works with you and adjust as needed. Um, so the actual practice is quite simple. You just uh, take your head wrap and you start it behind the head on the occiput. And then gently holding, you slowly wrap it around the right ear, the right temple and the right and the forehead. And you just continue around the, towards the left temple, towards the left ear back towards the occiput and the lower neck and continue rolling around now this practice uh classically we usually cover completely cover the eyes and parts of the nose and so this kind of mimics a uh, the, the hand movements, the hand mudras, uh, the sanmukhi mudra, where you're kind of, you know, quieting the mouth and then uh, the nose and the ears. So this is a, a similar effect to that. However, it's it's a lot more softer, and you can use it over a longer period of time. So it, it's quite useful. However, if you are using this, uh, you know, if you if you want to use this around the house or like I was saying, possibly if you're using it for sleep, you can actually just cover the forehead and leave the eyes and the, and the lower face exposed and you'll still have a, a similar effect here. Especially on the forehead here, you know, you're, there's some very vital marma points here that you're going to be contacting along the eyebrows and the and the, and the third eye, the Agnes Chakra. So even just covering that forehead can have quite a quite an important effect. And when you're wrapping, when you're done wrapping, you can just uh, take the loose end and tug it into itself, wherever that might fall. Use your hands to adjust, making sure that it's an even softness around the entire head. And you want to make sure that it's not too... Uh, not too snug, but it's not too loose. There should be a slight pressure, a soft pressure moving inwards. And I often compare it to basically if you have a nice uh, snug fitting hat, it has a, a, a similar feel uh, on the skin to that. And you can actually, even if you do have a nice soft uh, knitting cap, you can try that for a similar effect uh, just to have the forehead quieted actually, if you pull down that cap a little bit and leave it on over an extended period of time. Uh, it can help to quiet the mind a bit. And so that's the basic practice. And to come out, 
you just untuck and you don't want to just come out of this really quickly especially if you've been in it a, a long time if you know you've had a good hour in in a pranayama practice or something and you know you've gone fairly deep you don't want to just rip this off because that's going to be a shock to your system so you want to take it really slow and methodically so you take it off one loop at a time and you just slowly roll it up And this in itself acts as a kind of a quiet meditation, preparing your mind, preparing the senses to know that you're, you're coming out of whatever practice you've been doing. And it's a, it can be a fairly subtle practice. So uh, for some of you who don't have so much uh, facility in asana or pranayama, uh, the effect might not be as, as noticeable to you, but uh, as, as you do progress with these practices and you become more aware, uh, you, you'll notice how strong an effect and how important of an effect that this, this simple bandage can actually have for you. So especially with quieting the senses and quieting the mind. So uh, it's a profound practice, I find. And when you're done too, you know, you can just leave the eyes closed for a slow moment and then gently open the eyes when you're ready. And yeah, that's the simple practice, except uh, it's, I find it extremely useful. I do it almost on a daily practice for whatever I'm working with. And, um, you know, check it out. It, I, I don't see it taught a lot out there. So that's why I'm making this video to share it. And, you know, please feel free to share with others. If you have any questions about the practice, uh, you know, just post or get in touch and I hope you're well and I hope this has been useful. Namaste.